What's happening everyone? Jay Shockblast here and check it out. From the TV Heroes pack, we have the Flash, the Grant Gustin version. And uh, it's kind of crazy to me how many people didn't know that they could get this if they bought the game at Walmart. Now, obviously, Walmart's probably the last place you would think of to get this in particular game. The reason being because they don't have the Deluxe Edition. I kind of feel like everybody should just spring the extra couple bucks and get the Deluxe Edition every time. Well, I'm kind of crazy, and I needed this DLC, so I went and bought the game at Walmart on top of getting the Deluxe Edition digitally. So, uh, yeah. This, to me, is the Flash. Like, I like Ezra Miller. Don't get me wrong. I don't think his Flash was horrible, but... To me, Grant Gustin's version of Barry Allen is the Flash. I adore him. Like, I think he does just such a fantastic job. It's exactly what I think the Flash should be. And I love the fact that I can play as him in this game. Um, it's it's a really great version. Uh, I don't have, on my Xbox save, I don't have the real, like, in-game Flash to compare. And it, it's basically just the skin. I mean, this is the exact same thing. But it's just enough of a difference to me uh, that it just makes me happy to be able to run around as him. Just the same way as it makes me happy to be able to play as the Stephen Amell version of Green Arrow. Like, it's cool because, like, these shows are really awesome. I have not watched the last season of The Flash. Um, it's the only season I haven't seen. And I'm actually... I keep meaning to, but I've heard such negative things about it and it kind of, like... Kind of ruined it for me a little bit, but I'm going to get there at some point. I, I, they, they did kind of jump the shark. They kind of went to Flashpoint way too early. And that's my only major complaint is I feel like they've been kind of trying to recover ever since. But, I mean, there's a large contingent of people that believe that season one and maybe even two of The Flash is the best in the Arrowverse. Now, it's going to be really hard for me to ever say anything is better than, you know, the first two seasons of Arrow. I mean, Malcolm Merlin and, and, and Deathstroke are some pretty iconic level bad guys when it comes to uh, anything comic book related. I think both, both of them are fantastic, and that's, you know, a testament to, you know, Manu Bennett and uh, John Barrowman, who, by the way, voices Malcolm Merlin in this game. And is absolutely phenomenal. So, you know, it's basically the Flash. Like, all the other Flash. Like, honestly, all the Flashes are pretty much the same-y. Uh, they all pretty much have, like, the same abilities. And stuff like that, so. But, yeah, I do love... I love the trail. I love the fact that, like, when they're running... You can kind of see little pieces of them left behind. You know, it's not just the, there's the, the trail that you see here. You can kind of see little glimpses of, you know, the flash in the, in the trail. It's such a, an amazing animation. And, you know, I know that some people are a little disappointed in the speedsters so far in this game. Uh, because they don't run on water. They don't run up walls. But... Is that really the end of the world? I mean, I know it's cool to do that stuff, but, like, there's really not much reason to, uh, to go into the water in this game. So here we have the Flash TV heroes. And, uh, Bartholomew Henry Allen Barry Allen, Central City Police Department, Star Labs. Acrobat, photo mode, security access, sonar, wall climbing, teleportation, cosmic treadmill. Barry Allen is the fastest man alive. To the outside world, he's an ordinary forensic scientist, but secretly, with the help of his friends at Star Labs, he fights crime and finds other metahumans like himself. When villains strike, Barry is the only one fast enough to stop them. He is the Flash. First period, showcase number four, 1956. What I love about the character bio for him and Green Arrow is it's kind of a take on the introduction to the show. <laughs> so yeah, man. I I think uh, this this is again. It's a character skin, basically. It's really not that different than the regular Flash, but it's still like it still represents 
what's really great about the Flash uh, on TV with with Grant Gustin getting his version. So I'm happy about it personally. I love that this is a way to shatter glass. Like that's really cool. The only thing I can say is I wish, I wish you could like use photo mode to capture stuff like that. But it's only really a selfie mode. So yeah, here you go. So look, he swims. He swims really fast. Might even swim faster than Aquaman, which is kind of funny. Would it be? Is it cool to run on water? Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And you know, nothing was cooler to me than taking Sonic the Hedgehog in Lego Dimensions and just running him on water. Like that was awesome. I get it. And would it be cool if I could run up, you know, this building? I suppose. But here's the thing. Like, if you look at all these buildings, they're not really made for running. Okay, maybe this this pole right there is, but. Like these, these buildings have like a lot of little ledges and stuff like that. And I'm not like, I don't know, I'm not making excuses for them, but I, I just don't think it's conducive to running up the walls, you know? Like, it, it's just one of those things where, oh, that's funny. So technically I'm not supposed to be up here because I'm, I'm only in like the second level of the game. So it kind of stops me. And I actually noticed that when I tried to go into uh, to Arkham. So. Yeah, there is, there's like cops there. Of course there's ways around it, but. But that's funny. Yeah, see? That's funny. Of course, all I really have to do to get where I want to go is this. And he's fast swimmer, so. Suckers, can't stop me. I'm the fastest man alive. All right, so let's go to a race. I never thought I'd say those words so openly. I mean, look, I'm fine with him swimming this way. It's really not that big of a deal. I'm not, I'm trying to go to Wayne Manor, but I can't find it. All right, are we there? This is not Wayne Manor. That's a use mile. Yeah, sometimes it's not really conducive to uh, the, the fast, the speedsters. It's not really conducive to like, like, the, the space is all very cramped. All right, no, I'm going the wrong way. There we go. Because they go so fast, and the space is, like, they're just a little tight. So it's like a tight squeeze. I do appreciate that, you know, in other LEGO games in the past... Oh, I don't want to fight. In other LEGO games in the past, they've had it where... You can't free roam gameplay until you actually beat the game. And in this game, like basically once you get through the second level, you can bebop around and do your thing. Oh man, is the race not here? I might not have the race available yet. I may have to actually, like so some of the stuff I might actually have to progress in the game a little bit more. But there's supposed to be a race here somewhere. Of course, if I had my mini map on, I'd probably be able to see it. I I personally like I love playing without anything on my screen, just because it's uh, uh yeah, it's telling me all the things that I've done now that I have it back up. But uh. Yeah, I guess I can't do a race. Well, maybe I have to do this. Maybe that's what it is. Because things disappear once you do them. Alright. 
Now let's clear the area. So that, that's one of the things you have to do. You have to like clear the area. And, and things will sometimes pop up. Like I don't remember her being there before. And there are other races, don't get me wrong, but I just happen to know there's one that the Flash can do up here. No. All right. So I probably just have to progress the game a little bit more, I suppose. So, but in any event, uh, there you go. Uh, this was actually requested, um, even though I did the Speedsters video to have a dedicated, you know, the Flash TV show video. And I don't blame him because it's dope. Supergirl take a picture of the fastest man alive if she can I'll do character showcases for every character in this pack And a little secret like I don't know I usually oh. The speedsters move so fast. It's hard to actually get them in a, a good screenshot but like the secret is if you actually do photo mode this way uh, you can actually get a pretty solid one because the game like freezes it in time whereas if I use my uh, my actual um, like software that I use to take screenshots usually like they can be moving and it'll be blurry so in any event there you go that is uh, the Flash from the Flash TV show. And we're pretty happy about that. So, hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, for those of you that have the season pass, you will have access to this character in this pack. Uh, probably, I would imagine, within a month. I mean, I'm totally making that up. But usually, the early access DLC stuff is only available for like a month. So if I had to place a guess, uh, this should be available to everybody with the season pass uh, and everybody that wants to just buy this pack individually uh, in about a month after release. And then everybody can have access to this great pack. Uh, otherwise, if you haven't bought the game yet, uh, you may want to consider just buying it at Walmart and then buying the season pass later if you want. Um, and by doing so, you will get access to the packs uh, the pack, the TV Heroes pack, right away. And that'll give you access to seven new characters right now. Like, there's no way I can't get past here. Like, come on, Invisible Wall. There's no way they could stop Supergirl. Like, haha, suckers. We got through. Well, some of us. No man left behind, Supergirl. There we go. He just needed a little push. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. We'll see.